Hey everybody, this is the Mime Chef. I wanted to uh, do a little bit of a review actually on uh, barrel stove kits. Um, and I'm going to be making some more videos on this project that I'm doing. Um, I promised my wife that I'm going to have some uh, heating in the house this year and uh, so I need to connect up these cast iron radiators um, which I bought um, about six months ago. Um, so I've got five of those to go in the house and hopefully um, I'm going to try and pester Engineer 775 and see if I can get some more of his when he did his uh, American picking video. Uh, he got some fin heaters and some cast iron radiators so hopefully he's got a couple of spare just to uh, help warm my house. Okay, um, I've bought uh, two different types, this is the Vogel Zanger um, and these the uh, United States Stove Company um, barrel stove kits. Um, that's the uh, the box for the for the American one. Uh, I mean they're both made in China, um, but um, um, I just wanted to uh, show you the differences. Okay, um, I actually prefer this one. Uh, why? Because it comes with the black screws uh, rather than the silver screws. Uh, these ones have um, these ones have a, a nut and bolt on the back of them, uh, which is a bit more fiddly. Uh, these ones come with the um, these ones come with the nut, which has the um, you know the washer built into it. I don't know what you call that, but uh, I'm not the engineering type. Um, the other thing I like about the Vogel Zanger is um, it has a knob uh, for the door handle rather than this um, flappy wiry uh, spring. And also um, this um, the rim which will uh, the uh, rope, the, uh, the fire rope will uh, sit in there and will be easy to glue compared to this one which actually just sits um, on the rim, um, so I think I think this one's I think this one's better. Uh, similar price. This one is from Truck Supplies. This one is from I got this one from Northern Tools. So um, so yeah. Uh, I'm just going to quickly explain what I'm doing. I've actually bought. Two, two of the barrel stove kits and I bought two of the double barrel conversion kits which comes with uh, an extra pair of legs and um, another connector to uh, connect it to uh, another barrel and what I'm going to do is without trying to confuse you is I'm going to build a wood fired uh, hydronic heating system so in the this is going to be the top barrel of the three, and inside here I'm going to um, get, get someone to weld up me a heat exchanger which will fit, which will be basically a square this size, it will go right down the barrel, it will be the depth of the barrel, um, and basically the top barrel will have, um, the flue will come up through the back, and then um, the heat exchanger will be basically like a, a steam and um, the boiler in a steam locomotive it'll be basically a, a square a square box and then it'll have inch pipes inch steel pipes running right through it which the flue gases will run through and basically the whole thing will be full of hot water and I'll have a couple of uh, flow and return inch tappings um, to go to a pump and that'll pump the water around the radiators um, this is the bottom barrel. This is going to be the firebox. It's going to be lined with some insulating uh, fibrix all the way around, not just in the bottom. It'll have a grate in it. It'll have, uh, and it'll have a basically uh, airflow in the bottom through some pipes, and then they will go up to the top of the barrel for the secondary combustion. Um, that be that, so that's going to get really hot with the insulating bricks, and it, hopefully it's going to be really efficient. Uh, and then it'll come 
out of the, out at the back, the flue will come out of the back. It's become all, a lot more self-explanatory when um, this, uh, when I start putting it together a little bit more. Uh, I'm just basically starting off right now, putting the doors on. But uh, and then this third barrel uh, is actually going to be the middle barrel, and uh, I don't think you're not going to be able to really see that. But this is going to be uh, a pizza oven. Uh, this is going to be lined with. Um, I'm basically going to kind of, uh, these two are the ones that have the strap lids on that come off, this one's a solid one. I'm basically going to cut all this out, uh, line this um, all the way around the back, uh, all across the top and the front and build the front. The, the only hole in the, in the front will be the actual opening for the pizza door and it will have a, an arch brick that sticks out. Uh, this will be built inside with um, hard fire bricks rather than the insulating fire bricks so this will take some heat and store some heat um, whereas the insulating ones they don't store heat at all they'll just reflect it back into the firebox um, so that will be my pizza oven and what, what this one will have um, it will have two outlets the pizza oven will have two outlets on it with two dampers which um, the guy at the welding shop uh, is going to hopefully fill in those holes and I'm going to put some more uh, rope the uh, fire rope around the outside so that's going to be hopefully airtight by the time I've finished it and these will be basically act as, act as a control to either send the hot gases towards the let me get this right, either towards uh, straight through the back of the pizza oven to the heat exchanger or if that one's closed it will um, send the hot flue gases uh, through the back of the pizza oven to the front of the pizza oven and then out of the top thus he help heating the pizza oven and then that will go uh, then up into the heat exchanger and basically go straight through the face of the heat exchanger without hopefully heating it up too much and then go straight out of the flue on the top of the heat exchanger which will be at the front. Um, yeah, very complicated to uh, just talk about but um, hopefully when I start building it will make a lot more sense when I can show you. Um, the heat exchanger isn't going to have any fire bricks around it apart from at the back and the front on the face uh, I'm going to have some insulating carowall board um, to um, take some of the heat out of the front and the back. Uh, both both doors will have a piece of the insulating uh, carowall board on to reflect any heat back from the firebox and reflect any heat back from the um, combustion gases to keep the door cool on this top one. And then the heat exchanger will be surrounded with offcuts of um, like Jura blankets, uh, thermal Kerouac blanket which is a ceramic blanket to uh, insulate the heat exchanger and stop any gases coming around the side of the heat exchanger and make sure it just goes right through the centre. Uh, okay uh, this is a bit of an experiment I've seen people build pizza ovens, I've seen people build barrel stoves with heat exchangers but I've not seen anybody do both together so this is a first I believe um, after all my research on the internet so this is going to be quite interesting um, whether it, it works or not uh, efficient, <laughs> efficiently um, I've got lots of firewood stored up for the winter uh, I need to get on with this in the evenings now um, and maybe one day of the weekend because uh, I'm busy still trying to uh, finish off building uh, this garage that we're in which I'll show you when I've finished it okay guys a um, bit of a review for you there and um, yeah look forward to making the rest of the videos for you uh, which um, which hopefully will be interesting for you guys uh, if you want to get off your power supply your electric and gas for heating um, yeah, hopefully going to save some money. Uh, I hate the idea of having to pay a gas bill. I mean, looking at a, even a wood burning furnace, an outdoor wood burning furnace, you're looking at maybe five thousand dollars at a minimum, plus your pipe work, 
plus uh, pumps, controls. Um, and I hopefully think I should be able to do it all for at a push, at a guess. I'm going to go for $1,200 to $1,500 to put in five radiators and out fairly efficient outside wood boiler and um, so yeah that's the plan. Okay guys, I'll speak to you later, bye for now.